Hello everyone, welcome back to my astrology channel. Now this video is the January 2022 reading, astrological reading for the sign of Taurus. Now if you have your sun, moon or rising in the sign of Taurus, then this video is for you. Now before I start, I really want to thank everyone who has been uh, subscribing, commenting, liking my videos. Thank you very much uh, for doing that. I really appreciate that. And those of you who haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do because there's going to be a lot more content coming in the year 2022, which is quite exciting. And I'm quite excited about sharing those uh, content with you. So please do subscribe so that you don't miss out on those uh, new content. Now Taurus, the month of January 2022 is has got a lot of Capricorn emphasis. It's because there's going to be Venus retrograde and direct in the sign of Capricorn and then there will be Mercury and Mars both moving in the sign of Capricorn and there's also new moon occurring in the sign of Capricorn the beginning of the month as well as full moon in the sign of Cancer which is on the Cancer and Capricorn axis so there's going to be a lot of Capricorn influence in the month of January. Now Capricorn is your ninth house which is about belief system, your worldview, your philosophies, learning, traveling, expanding your mind, new opportunities, being open to new opportunities and meeting new people. All these are spotlighted during the month of January for you Taurus. So it's time to take notice of these themes in your life uh, and be open to opportunities that you may have been closed until now. Now let's begin with the monthly reading step by step from the beginning of the month to the end of, end of the month. So first up is Venus which is opening the month in a retrograde motion in the sign of Capricorn in your ninth house. Now when Venus is retrograde your belief system, your perspective all these can be challenged. You can feel frustration because what you have been believing in until now Taurus may go through a kind of a uh, um, conflict because you as a sign Taurus is kind of conservative in your perspective and in your belief system. You don't like to change your uh, belief system much. So Venus here is asking you to keep an open mind and really look into where you are in a stuck position or in terms of your belief system or is it really stopping your growth, your limiting belief system, is it stopping your growth? So it's very important to keep yourself open to new perspective and new ideas during this time, Taurus. Now on the 2nd of January, there's going to be two astrological events. Mercury is going to move in the sign of Aquarius in your 10th house and new moon will be occurring in the sign of Capricorn in your 9th house. So during this time when Mercury is in your 10th house you are communicating and very being very vocal, voicing your opinion and renegotiating your career goals and ambitions and really talking to authority figure as well decision maker regarding your career matters because you want some kind of growth, freedom in your career matters and in the year 2022 you really want to set the tone uh, in terms of having more opportunities and more achievements. So this is a great time to negotiate and really think about your uh, career matters. Now new moon is in the sign of Capricorn in your ninth house. So fresh perspective is very vital during this time because new moon is a refreshing energy. So it's very important to be open to new ideas, new opportunity, and that can give you career opportunities as well and grow you in, the, in your career matters as well. So it's very important to keep an open mind uh, during this time and do the hard work and it will pay off most definitely if you're putting in the hard work in terms of your uh, career matters, f uh, future opportunities, and you know, really uh, working on your perspective and not being too rigid about it. Now on the 5th of January, uh, the retrograde Venus will be sextiling Neptune in the sign of Pisces and that will be your 9th house and 11th house. So 9th house is your belief system, 11th house is your social setting, your social, your friend circle. So this sextile aspect is going to really make you more curious uh, in terms of your social circle, your group projects, your teamwork, uh, you know, any kind of organization or collaboration that you want to join, you'll be very curious about it and you will definitely take steps to move towards it because this is going to make you come across really appealing and you're really reassessing these matters, how to get involved in collaborative endeavors and you know career matters for professional gain so it's a great time to think about these matters open yourself to these opportunities and share ideas and really 
talk about what you want to uh, move forward with, what kind of opportunities you want to take on. Now on the 11th of January, Mars in Sagittarius, which is in your 8th house, will be squaring Neptune in the sign of Pisces in your 11th house. So there's an 8th house and 11th house influence coming into play. So this is a great time to really work and focus on your capabilities, what you have to offer, the value that you provide in a collaborative work or in a group project or in a teamwork. So really look into that and be on top of things and don't depend on other people for your performance and for your achievements. You need to be uh, responsible for what you want to achieve in the world so be open be uh, active and really make the changes that you want to make in terms of how you want to approach your um, professional profession and career matters now on the 14th of january taurus mercury is going to go retrograde in this uh, sign of aquarius now mercury had moved in the sign of aquarius earlier in the in the month now it's going retrograde and aquarius is your 10th house so it's about your career matters so this can create some kind of misunderstanding or communication issues in your career matters so it's very important to remain on top of things and really look at things more deeply in terms of you know any kind of disruption in technology communication conversation any kind of or your own mindset uh, if you're limiting your mindset uh, all these things needs to be looked into now you could also be finishing an old job an old project so that could also be the case so have a look at what you're trying to achieve during this time and just be wary that any kind of communication gap or misunderstanding does not hinder your career growth now on the 17th of January, there will be a full moon occurring in the sign of Cancer. Now Cancer is your third house, which is about communication, sharing ideas. It's about your siblings, local community, your neighborhood. So full moon here really spotlights these areas. So it's time to really be true to yourself and really reconnect with your own skills and capability and really highlight those during this time and really communicate more effectively in terms of your how you are approaching people, Connecting, networking with people so it's very important to do that because this is going to ultimately help you in your career growth in your social setting and just your own belief system and your your value system all these will come to forth so it's very important to embrace your unique capabilities and really speak your mind during this time now on the 18th of January Uranus is going to go direct in the sign of Taurus which is in your sign so Uranus has been in a retrograde motion for quite a few months but it's going direct on this day so during this time you may feel a need to stabilize your life or your goals career goals yourself your self-image everything it needs to be stabilized you may experience some kind of uh, disruption some kind of imbalance in these areas so it's very important to stabilize yourself during this time so if things seem uncertain uh, make sure you uh, really stay on your commitment and not you know look away from it and really follow through any promises that you have made so it's very important to be progressive and move forward as well in your life and also not ignore any kind of commitments or obligation that you might have during this time Taurus now Taurus on the 18th of January North Node is going to move in the sign of Taurus in your first house and South Node in the sign of Scorpio in your seventh house so this is the relationship axis coming into focus for the next 18 months until July 2023 and the eclipses is also going to occur on this axis so your relationship matters is going to be really spotlighted during this 18 months period so there's going to be a lot of changes in terms of how you see yourself your relationship with yourself and relationship with other people so are you honoring yourself are you on being your true authentic self all these needs to be looked at because you need to because north node is in your first heart meaning it's about you this time it's time to focus on yourself rather than depending on uh, relationships so Taurus make sure you're not sacrificing your own value system uh, to just to please other people so make sure you are on point in terms of your own image your own priorities your own destiny and your own life path during this time now on the 24th of january taurus mars is going to move in the sign of capricorn in your ninth house so again your ninth house matter is spotlighted because the whole month of january there's a lot of ninth house capricorn influence in your life so mars is in a good position in the sign of capricorn so this will give you uh, energy to assert your viewpoint your perspective and not just be forced 
to change your views because of other people because they are influencing you so it's very important to be your authentic self your belief system and stay flexible as well because capricorn is about realisticness because capricorn is about being realistic being practical so it's very important to not be rigid about it and if there's change that needs to be made for your own growth it's definitely a good idea to bring in that energy to change your perspective for the purpose of professional gains, career growth and you know future opportunities. Now on the 25th of January the retrograde Mercury will move in the sign of Capricorn. Now it was retrograding in the sign of Aquarius but it's moving backwards in the sign of Capricorn. So that is your ninth house. So there's again a lot of ninth house Capricorn influence again in your life in the month of January. So ninth house is your belief system. So you're definitely reassessing your belief system and really going through what is your perspective and what works and what does not work. Also it's a great time to learn something new, train yourself because ninth how is about education as well so if you are thinking about some kind of education program you want to take on this is a good time to assess that and really decide what you want to do in the future now on the 28th of january the retrograde mercury will conjunct pluto in your ninth house so during this time you're very eager to communicate and use your communication to influence other people in terms of what is your viewpoint your perspective but be careful not to you know mis misrepresent yourself and you're also very curious about new opportunities uh, and you want to uh, maybe travel or learn new things so, so there's a lot of powerful energy around this time to take on any kind of new opportunities and keep your mind open now on the 29th of january venus which was retrograde until now will go direct in the sign of capricorn in your ninth house so this is a great time to really bloom and grow as an individual and seek new opportunities keep your mind open even in love matters in relationship matters keep your mind open and really you know uh, use this beautiful venus energy to glow and to grow in your future opportunities learning opportunities and all that Taurus so so Taurus this was your January 2022 reading I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you can use this information the content to you know make decision and have more awareness regarding what's available and how, and how to use the energy in your life so have a great January 2022 and happy new year thank you very much